I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. Does that make him a stronger swordsman because he has a strong devil fruit to help in his? I don't really just agree with that. Personally, I don't think Law is a better swordsman than Zoro. But I mean, I I think the best things about Law that make him Law are his devil fruit and backstory. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Snow, aka Coach John. I'm here with my guy. Hey, Drake, bro, man. Yeah. What's up? Hey, we're here on JV TV Anime, where we love anime. Today, we're going to be talking about some great art the Master Oda has given us. Incredible artists. 1039. If y'all have thought it, about it's spoilers. It. If you have not read it, do not watch the rest. No this is uh this is definitely a review, so we definitely will be spoiling a lot of things. So definitely go check that out first. What are you saying, Trey? What I thought about the chapter? Yep. I think the chapter. I think it was a pretty good chapter. They've been uh shit. They've been fighting. They've been fighting big man for a minute. Now. I have. I, mean, I I expected that. Like it's big man. Which <laughs> definitely so. She is Yonko. I didn't think it turned out like the way it did. True. But. True. Honestly, I don't think it is what it is. I think they just left, left, left it like that. Like, okay, so boom. We're going to jump into it. Skipping the cover pages because we're just going to do those videos later. <clears throat> the very first page, we got Momo doing his job. Um, saving Ashigo Shima from landing on the Capitol. Hmm. Um, so boom, when y'all saw that, what do y'all think this feat is gonna mean for Momo when he accomplishes because we know he's gonna accomplish it. We're not, he's not gonna let all the citizens of Wano die. So when he does accomplish this feat, how do you think the, what do you think is gonna do for like his confidence and how the, the city of Wano is gonna look at him as their new Shogun? Well, yeah, the city gonna definitely feel more comfortable with him, with him as the Shogun. He, right. gonna have, he gonna get his respect. And honestly, I don't think he gonna have that little sissy as fucking attitude he's been having when it comes to his confidence because the shit's been trash. I think he gonna actually gain his confidence because he did something. He did something Kaido did. Except instead of trying to destroy it, he pulled that bitch back. So I do want to figure out who the hell calling out to this nigga. I did find that weird because... He said calling out to him? Yeah, that's what he said. He said, who the hell is calling out to me? Somebody oh, we know who's calling out to him. I think the fact that the I scene was in see. danger was to his instincts. That was his instincts. Because he's just like naturally supposed to be the show, the show gun or what was that? Um, I'm not sure what part y'all. I can I can definitely tell you who the fuck's calling out to him. I think it's Zo since Zo just pulled up to the fucking. Boom! There we go. Okay. Um, okay. but Zo is calling out to him this chapter too. Guy. Or are you talking about something else? No, I'm saying he, from he, last chapter. He said, "Uh, see, really? hmm, this is someone calling for me. This someone calling. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I definitely think that's Zo. Um, uh, because I th I think the whole reason Zo pulled up to Wano right now is for Momo. Honestly, me personally." That's just me. But no, I definitely agree with you, Trey. I think um, when when uh, the war is over and Momo is announced like the official Shogun, the fact that he literally saved the city before he was even announced Shogun is going to be a really good light in all the citizens' eyes. He's going to make them more beloved. Exactly. Plus, it's his rightful spot, throne, regardless. So, yeah, even more so. People going to feel like he was rich, like he's supposed to be like, Yeah, to be this way. dead ass. Um, but... <clears throat> Then we get into the actual chapter, chapter, the real stuff. Uh, going back to this fight with Big Mom and uh, and Law and Kid. Um, before the fight even, well, before the chapter goes back to it. Last chapter, we saw a Kid do a, a, a brand new move, the uh, the mechanical bull or the more trash together, make a bigger trash can hit you. <laughs> he, we yeah, more, and it's crazy because when I when I saw him do it after Law just did that live shit because that was some live shit that Law did. When I when I saw him do it and they ended the chapter, I was really like, okay, it's a bigger bull and it's bigger than Big Mom, but I don't even think it's really just about to like hurt Big nah, Mom that I much. Nah, I ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't Big think Mom she would have said. She said, bro, her hand, her 
hand was no, yeah, it's crazy. It actually, broken. it actually did a lot more damage than I thought it was gonna. I didn't think it was gonna break any of Big Mom's bones. So she that got, was she got fucked up. No, def, it's crazy because when I when I saw him hit her, because the bullet is it's mass, it's way bigger than Big Mom, and that's saying something. But even with seeing that, I I didn't I didn't look, I didn't disrespect it and look at it like when Frankie hit her with that motorcycle and just ran <laughs> over her face. I, I wasn't disrespecting it to that level, but. I didn't expect any like severe damage to be dealt to Big Mom when she got up from that. But like I said, well, it broke her wrist. She's been fighting, like she been fighting these niggas for quite some time now, and I don't know. Like, she, she she ain't been pulling no punches, so I I I didn't think she was gonna have broken ribs or nothing. She gotta get tired of it. Oh, hey, hey it's really like what Kid said earlier. He was like, shit, even rain can uh, wear down a mountain. Um, that's real shit. But after we see that she gets her wrist broken, we see that uh, apparently she Ooh, can use her lifespan to <laughs> heal she any part of her body. She basically like t- like you know how she did with the steel beams, gave a lot her lifespan to them. And no, she I know she's using her, like her life, the the homies and shit. Yeah. I know exactly what she's doing. Honestly, but it's like, I didn't think you could do that with yourself, but that I didn't I didn't, I didn't know she could do that okay. for um. But I guess she never really just needed to. I wasn't surprised. Recently, though. I wasn't surprised. I was, I was surprised, only surprised that it was the first time because I was like, "Damn!" Like it makes sense that she could do that, but since she's never done it before, it was like, "Oh shit, where did that come from?" Damn, that kind of makes you. That really makes me think of you even more OP than what you already were at first, because now you can fucking re- regenerate. I can't regenerate health. That shit is cheap. That shit is cheap. <laughs> um, That's all it is too. But yeah, she did that. But she going back into the fight. We see Kid get a little bit more versatile with his power when he Useful. starts using his awakened ability. Um. That uh, what's it? Oh, a sign where he can make you a magnet, basically, and have things repel and go to you. Um, but lost waking himself still. Bro. This nigga lost so cold. So yeah, we see him do that assign shit, and they use it in that that live comp. It's crazy because before we went into this, before we went into this fight, I said I know I know the only way this duo was gonna work. Is if Law is like the nigga in charge and they just do like some tag team shit, but it's like Law's plan. Cause Law's a, he be on it. And then uh, Kid is gonna have to get his hits in when he can through Law's plans. Man, that's what's happening. Cause after he did that assigned shit and Law like dropped that building, I was like, oh yeah, that's, that's a cool little move. That was, that was pretty smart. It's crazy because when they, after he said, after he had got upset with Kid or with Law, no, we kid. And was like, bro, you know, my, I'm not your fucking opening that. And kid was like, all right, fine, we'll switch it next time. Even at the end of the chapter, they didn't switch it. Kid still had the last mm-hmm. uh, final blow, but it was a dope fucking attack. So I thought that was pretty cool. I wasn't even tripping on that. Um, but no. It was pretty cool, but it didn't finish the mission. So you think the you think the fight's still going? It's crazy because when it ended, I I wanna. I want to agree piece, with you. Bro. You know damn well. Okay, boom. I want you to tell me the last two or three fights before Big Mom and um and these two. And if you can't think of none right now, I'm gonna just throw something at you. Zoro. Yeah, Zoro and then uh, Sanji. Sanji and Queen. And the very the, those the very last two those fights specifically. We for sure all thought that was gonna keep going. Honestly, I was a little disappointed that Sanji fight ended so soon. That was kind of abrupt. And I low key wanted the King fight to go a little longer just because it was so good. Um, but shit, that Jimbe fight, I didn't even get none of it. What the hell? Were we ever gonna talk about it? No, it never fucking did. That's what I'm that's what I'm Jimbe saying. Whooped his ass. This I'm talking yeah, but they was they was talking about some talking about, about some, some important shit. shit about shanks about, and the uh, fruit. They were talking yeah, they were talking about the fruit and then after that. Things, fruits awakening. That was, that's, I think that was they were saying something about and it, but after that Jim Bay punched the shit out that nigga. That's literally how the fight ended. They said something about it. He yeah. attacked. He got stole off on. Cause that was they, they. The last time they touched on it was the same episode they did the, the referee. Bro, like I'm saying, I mean, um, it's a bunch of fights. This this whole arc that have ended really quickly, and I wouldn't be surprised well, if this fight was over. Didn't end quickly. King, King fight. King. That's the exception. But honestly, that whole wasn't as long as it should have been. I that hoe should have been a little longer too, cause people was like, "Damn, that's it." I mean, yeah, but at the same time, brother, the main the thing is the two episode, emperors. Like animated, that's it. I think the, the of course, the big one fight gonna be a couple episodes. They can't fight. That's just gonna be a couple episodes. Um, 
But no, I was cool. It was, it was a good fight, the King and Luffy fight. I mean, the King and Zoro fight. I was cool with it. Would I have liked, shit, one more chapter? Even six panels? Yeah. But I mean, 